Mosley is a this was a form of British fascism led by Oswald Mosley through his party, the British Union of Fascists. It combined ultra-nationalism, anti-globalism, authoritarianism and an anti-capitalist, anti-communist stance economically focusing on corporatism. Mosleyism saw Britain as a nation in decline, blaming liberalism and outside influences often focusing on Jewish people. The solution was to renew the nation by placing national interests above individual ones. The BUF aimed to unify Britain by working with other fascist groups, but when groups refused, the BUF often used violence to break up their meetings. The BUF initially avoided anti-Semitism, but later fully embraced it. This led to violent clashes, notably the 36th Battle of Cable Street, where anti-fascist groups, including liberals, socialists and British Jews, stopped a march of BUF black shirts. This violence, along with events like the 1934 Olympia rally, where anti-fascist protesters were attacked by the paramilitary wing of the BUF, caused the party to lose support. Ultimately, the outbreak of World War II led to the BUF's downfall as fascist groups were banned and their members arrested. Golden Dawnism This ideology is rooted in Greek far-right extremism led by the neo-Nazi ultra-nationalist political party Golden Dawn. Founded by Nikolaos Mikhailolaikos in 1980, the movement aimed to restore a right-wing military dictatorship in Greece. The Golden Dawn strongly admires former Greek dictators like Ioannis Metaxas and Georgios Papadopoulos while denying being neo-Nazi or neo-fascist. However, the group openly celebrates Adolf Hitler, denies the Holocaust and uses Nazi symbols, salutes and slogans. The group's ideology is centered on extreme ultra-nationalism, advocating for a greater Greece, a revival of the Byzantine Empire and showing strong opposition to the European Union. They hold traditionalist views particularly against immigration, promoting anti-Turkism, homophobia and a protectionist economy. The Golden Dawn has been known for its violent actions. The group's racist, anti-Semitic and Islamophobic rhetoric fueled hate crimes against minorities, often through their militant wing. Over time, their support collapsed and in 2020, Golden Dawn's leadership was convicted of running a criminal organization. Falangism. This was the political ideology of three different political parties in Spain known as the Falange. In its early years, the movement had clear fascist influences, but over time, especially during Franco's Spain, it evolved into a more authoritarian conservative ideology. Falangism is deeply rooted in Spain's Roman Catholic identity, though it maintains that the state should hold ultimate authority over society, emphasizing order, hierarchy, traditional gender roles and total control. Like fascism, Falangism strongly opposes communism, liberal democracy and regional separatism, advocating for a unified, authoritarian Spain through the use of political violence. Violence. Falangism's original manifesto promoted dictatorship, the revival of the Spanish Empire and a national syndicalist economy. Falangism also pushed for cultural and economic union among Hispanic countries. This idea centered on the cultural strength of the Hispanic world rather than biological purity, as they promoted race mixing to create a superior Hispanic supercaste. Falangism positioned itself as a third way between the political left and right, economically left-leaning with a culturally far-right stance. The movement endorsed class collaboration and upheld the concept of national syndicalism, which emphasized collaboration between workers workers and employers, agrarian reforms and industrial expansion. Although founder José Primo de Rivera showed little interest in anti-Semitism, he did express concerns about Jewish Marxist influences over the working class. Primo de Rivera rather wanted the small Jewish population in Spain to convert to Catholicism. Nonetheless, he approved of attacks on Jewish-owned businesses in 1935. Silver Legionism The Silver Legion was an American fascist movement founded by William W. Dudley Pelly in 1933. Known as the Silver Shirts, this group was strongly influenced by Nazi Germany, combining far-right cultural views with opposition to President Roosevelt's New Deal and a stance of non-interventionism in foreign conflicts. The Legion embraced clerical fascism along with corporatism and staunch anti-communism. At its core, Silver Legionism promoted white nationalism, racial segregation, slavery and the idea of a racially pure America. Pelly developed a 
extreme anti-Semitic views, even claiming that Jews were possessed by demons. He envisioned spiritual and political renewal for America, drawing inspiration from Hitler's rise to power. The Silver Shirts peaked at around 15,000 members in 1934. Pelly's goal was to create a Christian Commonwealth in the United States, a fascist and theocratic government that excluded Jews and non-whites. He claimed to be the savior who would protect America from Jewish communists. Pelly even ran for president in 1936 under the Christian party banner, aiming to stage a silver revolution and seize power as a dictator. However, Roosevelt won and by 1937 the Legion's membership had dwindled. The Silver Legion eventually disbanded after the 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor. Russism or Russian fascism is a term used to describe the political ideology and policies of Russia under Vladimir Putin. It combines autocratic rule, extreme nationalism, corporatism and neo-imperialism with militarism and expansionism. The state merges tightly with the Russian Orthodox Church and uses censorship, political repression and propaganda to maintain control. A cult of personality surrounds Putin, portraying him as a hyper-masculine, strong leader. The ideology is based on the belief in Russia's special civilizational mission, emphasizing anti-Western sentiment and the idea of reclaiming former Russian territories. Under Putin, corruption has flourished alongside efforts to preserve traditional values and the Soviet legacy. Some scholars argue that the ideology of Russism is similar to German fascism and Putin's speeches reflect some ideas of Adolf Hitler. The the term Russism was popularized in 1995 by Chechen President Dudayev, who saw Russia's military actions in Chechenia as a sign of this rising ideology. Russism or Rashism became more widely used in Ukrainian media after Russia's annexation of Crimea and the start of the Russo-Ukrainian war in 2014. Salazarism. This was the ideology of Antonio Salazar's authoritarian conservative dictatorship that ruled Portugal under the Estado Novo from 1933 to 1974. It combined right-wing nationalism, corporatism, imperialism and strong Catholic values. It is highly debated though whether Salazar's dictatorship was fascist or not. While there were similarities to Mussolini's fascism, such as a corporatist economy, the paramilitary Portuguese legion and a compulsory youth organization, Salazar rejected both fascism and Nazism, calling them godless and pagan. His regime focused on maintaining traditional values, opposing communism, socialism, syndicalism and liberalism. Salazar prioritized stability but suppressed political parties, human rights and liberties in the process. Though neutral during World War II, Portugal quietly supported Franco in Spain and later leaned toward the Allies. Turkish idealism. This is a far-right Islamo-nationalist ideology linked to the militant group Grey Wolves, which serves as the youth wing of the Nationalist Movement Party. The ideology promotes irredentism and imperialism, aiming to restore the Ottoman Empire's glory. They are often described as neo-fascist and deeply xenophobic, especially towards non-Turks such as Greeks, Kurds and Armenians. The Grey Wolves, founded by Alpaslan Türkeş in the 60s, have been involved in violent urban warfare with left-wing militants and activists and are often associated with Turkey's deep state, organized crime and terrorist activities. They are also active in northern Cyprus and among the Turkish diaspora in Europe, considered the largest right-wing extremist organization in Germany. Rexism. This was a Catholic authoritarian, monarcho-fascist political movement in Belgium from 1935 to 45, founded by Leon de Grel, who admired Hitler. Initially inspired by Italian fascism and Spanish phalangism, it later leaned towards Nazism. Rexism called for a moral renewal of Belgian society through Catholic dominance, unitarism, royalism and corporatism opposing both liberal democracy, capitalism and Marxism. While not fully fascist at first, it became more extreme after 1937, adopting Nazi-style anti-Semitism and anti-parliamentarism. During the German occupation of Belgium, Rexists collaborated with the Nazis. In 1944, the party was eventually banned and after the fall of Nazi Germany in 19 in 1945, many Rexists were imprisoned or executed. Islamofascism. This term draws a comparison between fascism and Islamic fundamentalism, particularly its authoritarian and violent aspects aimed at establishing an Islamic government through extremist means, including offensive jihad. First coined as Islamic fascism in 1933, it has been used to describe various movements such as Pakistan's independence efforts, Gamal Nasser's Arab nationalism and the Young Egypt Party, which was inspired 
inspired by Italian fascism. The term gained popularity in the 90s, especially in reference to Islamist movements like those led by Ruola Khomeini, whose 1979 Iranian revolution replaced a pro-Western secular monarchy with an anti-Western Islamist theocracy. But the term has been criticized for its lack of clarity and conceptual inconsistency. Eco-fascism. This ideology merges environmentalism with nationalism, emphasizing the preservation of the environment, natural resources and cultural traditions for the benefit of a native population. It is sometimes described as a weaponization of climate change by populist political parties while being an economically ambivalent ideology. Eco-fascists view humanity as deeply interconnected with nature, promoting insular agrarian societies rooted in ancestral lands. They reject the globalist, liberal approaches of modern ecological movements, favoring traditionalist and nationalist ideals. The ideology often intertwines with esoteric fascism through its focus on European paganism and the blood and soil doctrine. Eco-fascists often blame the global south for environmental problems and propose extreme measures like population control, often tied to racial categorization. They also advocate for societal collapse to be replaced by fascist systems, sometimes endorsing eco-terrorism as a means to achieve their goals. Mexican Synarchism. Synarchy is the ideology embodied by the Mexican National Synarchist Union, a Catholic extremist movement that emerged in the 1930s led by José Urquiza and Salvador Abascal. It opposed the secular policies of the ruling government inspired by clerical fascism and phalangism. The UNS shared ideological affinities with the regimes of Salazar, Franco and Perón, advocating for corporatism, authoritarianism, social cooperation and anti-communism. The group wanted to mobilize the peasantry against atheistic and communist tendencies. Though denounced as fascist, the synarchists rejected fascist methods as pagan and stressed their movement was rooted in Catholic integralism. Synarchists also sought to reclaim territories lost to the US in the Mexican-American War, reintegrate Central America into the country and reduce Anglo-American influence. Its third positionist economic model emphasized workers' rights, opposed both capitalism and Marxism and called for withdrawal from international trade deals. While promoting pan-Hispanism, it also valued indigenous cultures but remained firmly anti-immigrant. Their anti-Semitism resembled European fascism and Jews were considered enemies of the father. Land. The UNS grew significantly in the late 30s, but its support for the Axis powers during World War II hurt its reputation. Infighting led to schisms by the mid 40s and the movement dissolved in 1951. Slovak Fascism The Slovak People's Party, founded by Andrei Halinka in 1913, was a far-right clerical fascist movement rooted in Catholic fundamentalism and authoritarianism. Initially advocating for Slovak independence within Austria-Hungary, it later opposed Czechoslovakism and sought Slovak autonomy. After merging with other parties in 1938, it became Slovakia's dominant party, adopting totalitarian and pro-Nazi stances. The party, led by conservative priest Joseph T was divided between conservatives who aimed to create a gradual authoritarian Christian state and radicals who pushed for a Nazi-like regime. The so-called Halinka Guard tied to the party participated in the Holocaust and deportations of Jews. Following the Slovak National Uprising in 1944, the Halinka party and its organizations were banned. The Perkon Krusts. This was a Latvian ultra-nationalist party founded in 1933 by Gustavs Chelmins, characterized by a culturally far-right, corporatist and neo-pagan ideology, it was anti-German, anti-Slavic and anti-Semitic, seeking to establish an authoritarian state controlled by ethnic Latvians. They rejected the cultural autonomy of national minorities, especially targeting Baltic Germans and Jews. The movement also opposed Christianity, advocating for the revival of Dief Turiba, a pre-Christian Latvian religion. Outlawed in 1934, the party's leadership was arrested and Semins was exiled in 1937. Peronism. This is a third positionist, nationalist and union-based ideology built around Juan Domingo Perón since the mid-40s. While Peronism often identifies as left-leaning and labor-focused, it has incorporated a wide range of influences, including social democracy, neoliberalism, statism and authoritarianism, which leads some to compare it to fascism. At the 
the same time, it has had support from both left libertarian revolutionaries and reactionary conservatives. Classical Peronism centers on economic independence, social justice and political sovereignty. It draws some inspiration from Mussolini's fascism and Hitler's Nazism, advocating for a corporatist, protectionist, syndicalist and laborist socio-economic system with anti-communist and anti-Marxist leanings wrapped in a Christian nationalist and authoritarian framework. Shova statism. This was a totalitarian, ethno-ultranationalist and expansionist ideology that developed in Japan during the early reign of Emperor Shova. It blended Japanese nationalist and monarchist ideas with Italian fascism, but often it's not considered pure fascism. It was anti-Western, anti-liberal and anti-communist, driven by a desire to unify Asia under Japan's imperial rule and liberate the continent from Western influence. Prominent during the early Shova period and World War II, the ideology also emphasized militarism and corporatism. Showa statism peaked with the New Order movement led by Prime Minister Konoe in 1940. This movement aimed to create a totalitarian, one-party state through the Imperial Rule Assistance Association to maximize Japan's total war effort against China and later the Allies. Ultimately, Showa statism was discredited by Japan's defeat in World War II. Peruvian Fascism The most popular fascist faction in Peru was the Revolutionary Union, founded in 1931 by former President Luis Sanchez Chero as the state party of his dictatorship after he overthrew Augusto Liguilla. Initially, it was an authoritarian populist movement, but following Sanchez Chero's assassination by a leftist militant, the party, now under Luis Flores, shifted towards fascism, taking inspiration from Italian fascism and forming a paramilitary group called the Black Shirt Legion. The UR had broad support and fiercely opposed communism and the socialist APRA party, organizing armed groups to combat leftist movements. The party emphasized religion, conservatism and nationalism and by 1936 had over 6,000 members in its armed factions. Eventually, the loss of popular favor led to its decline and the UR disappeared in 1956. Irish Fascism The architects of the resurrection were the most prominent fascist party in Ireland, founded by Geroid O'Quinion again in 1942. They aimed to create a totalitarian Christian corporatist state inspired by the Axis powers and the Portuguese Estado Novo. The party envisioned Ireland as a spiritual leader for a re-Christianized Europe, staying neutral during World War II and emerging as a global leader post-war. Their platform included banning leaving the country, outlawing public use of English, only allowing Irish, and forming an army to reconquer Northern Ireland. The party also promised discrimination against Jews and Freemasons. But internal disputes and the founders' extremism caused the party's decline, leaving room for more moderate parties to rise. Archondism. This was the ideology of the National Unity Party of Canada, founded by Adrien Archand, who dubbed himself as the Canadian leader. The party combined Canadian nationalism with elements of national socialism, anti-Semitism and clerical fascism. Archand aimed to establish a pan-Canadian nationalist movement, uniting English and French Canadians, modeling his ideology on Hitler's Nazism and Mussolini's fascism. He blamed Jews for societal ills and described liberal democracy as a Jewish invention. Arcand also praised Hitler as a savior of Christianity. Following the outbreak of World War II, the Canadian government banned the party in 1940, leading to the arrest of Arcand and many followers. Plaekism. This was the ideology associated with Field Marshal Plaek Fibun Fibung Songkram, who served as Prime Minister of Thailand from 1938 to 19. 1944, and again from 48 to 57. As prime minister, he established a totalitarian military dictatorship influenced by Italian fascism, promoting Thai nationalism and xenophobia, and aligning Thailand with Japan during World War II. His modernization campaign, known as the Thai Cultural Revolution, included renaming the country from Siam to Thailand and promoting the Thai language. Fibun was ousted in 1944 by the National Assembly, but returned to power via a coup in in 1947. Progressive fascism or revolutionary fascism combines authoritarian progressivism with fascism, emphasizing ultra-traditionalist and ultra-modernist elements like secularism and futurism. It includes groups that support fascism for progressive reasons. Adherents view authoritarianism as essential for dismantling outdated institutions and traditions that they see as hindrances, while also revitalizing certain traditions they believe can strengthen the nation 
Christian, advocating for a top-down, forceful approach similar to Maoism and Jacobinism. This ideology often supports imperialism, militarism, futurism and corporatism. Examples include Marinetti's Futurist Political Party, which merged with Mussolini's National Fascist Party, as well as elements of Turkish Pekarism and factions of the Kuomintang. Dutch fascism is best exemplified by the anti-parliamentary and authoritarian National Socialist Movement founded in 1931 by Anton Musat. The NSB aimed for a fascist state with a compliant government, prioritizing national interests over individual rights and social groups. After 1936, under Meinut Rost van Tonningen's influence, the NSB adopted Nazi anti-Semitism and aligned with the aggressive foreign policies of Italy and Germany. Its demand included abolishing individual voting rights, promoting corporatism, enforcing military service, restricting press freedoms and prohibiting strikes. The NSB sought to create a Greater Netherlands that unified with Flanders, also aspiring to control a colonial empire in Africa. After Germany's surrender in 1945, the NSB was outlaw. Iranian fascism, most notably represented by the National Socialist Workers' Party of Iran, Short Sumka, a neo-Nazi movement formed in 1952 by Davut Monchi Sadeh and Morteza Kosarian. Monchi Sadeh, a former SS member and Nazi radio propagandist, founded the party after supporting Nazism in both Germany and Iran. Kosarian, also a former SS officer, participated in key World War II battles, including Stalingrad. The party collaborated with Fazal Lola Sahidi in opposing Mohammed Mossadegh's rule and took part in protests demanding his ousting in 1953. Sumka became notorious for street violence, particularly against Mossadegh supporters and the Communist Today Party. Its assault group attacked the Soviet Cultural Center and the Hungarian Trade Office in Tehran. Monchi Sadeh was eventually exiled to Europe by Mohammed Pahlavi and the party crumbled. Chilean Fascism The National Socialist Movement of Chile was the most prominent fascist group in Chile, initially modeled after Adolf Hitler's ideology. Founded in 1932 by General Diaz Valderrama, Carlos Keller and Jorge González Van Mares, the party strongly promoted anti-Semitism and Nazi principles, receiving financial backing from Chile's German population. The movement called for one-party rule, corporatism and class solidarity, establishing a paramilitary group. However, by the late 30s, Van Marais distanced the party from Hitler, deeming the term National Socialist a mistake and reduced its anti-Semitic rhetoric in favor of a more homegrown fascism. The movement's most infamous moment came in 1938 during the Seguro Obrero massacre when their attempted coup d'etat was violently suppressed by the Chilean government and police forces. After this event, the party struggled and eventually disbanded in 1941. Subscribe for more videos and make sure to watch part 1 of our series on fascism.